Hi guys, this is Nick from Games Up, Next Level Board Gaming. Today I'm coming at you uh, for Blood Raids, how to build your own 3D board game. This is part four, the final part at last. So we are very close to it. And um, yeah, you know the drill. Let's get into it. See you in a bit. All right, this is a modeling compound. Um, it takes a long time to dry actually. So I am looking for uh, a different product that will dry faster, but it does its job. It's a modeling compound. We uh, are going to uh, raise the floor a little bit, the ground a little bit from, uh, from Yggdrasil, so that the roots are going to look more like they are coming out of the ground instead of just floating on top. So I uh, just dip a few uh, places here and there where the raised area should be, and then you're just going to fill it up and make a nice little hill for Igdress Hill to stand on. It is a good modeling compound, I like it. Um, it molds, it stays in its shape the way you want it, but as I, as I told you it takes a long time to dry, I think it took me like 24 hours, but uh, yeah eventually it's fine. Then some snow effects of Citadel range and every branch of Yggdrasil, the place where it's going to uh, hang over, I'm going to uh, cover it with that same effect as the provinces. Here we are making some icicles with just clear transparent sealant. I actually like this effect a lot. I didn't expect it to come out this nicely, this, this well, but uh, yeah, make sure you buy a good brand of sealant because some uh, brands of sealant they turn out to uh, to become not that transparent but a little bit yellowish after a time so uh, yeah take care of that and now we're going to uh, make Ragnaroks so we are going to draw where all the provinces are going to be so that we have a more or less similar uh, feel where everything is gonna be then we have the compound again but then this time is uh, is the is the wall filler mixed with the PVA glue like we have done before and you're just going to use it for making some texture that you can mold and shape in the way you want it so do it with all the provinces doesn't have to be exact just smush it on that's it Eventually it started out white with some sand and some rocks Make it bright yellow Dry brush it with an orange Then we'll dry brush that With a heavy red Eventually we go to a darkish brown, a reddish brown color Dry brushing all of it Then we go to black For all the raised areas And as you can see we have created some stone effects in it then I have put it also some miniatures in it, some old miniatures. They are going to paint it with a metallic and then a glossy finish. And that's all you have to do for your Ragnaroks. And go crazy, go wild with your uh, own IDs of course. And uh, yeah, that's it. Then the ocean. We start off with a dark blue. And we are going to work our way up. Eventually we are going to use, uh, use the technique wet blending, so we don't want the paint to be completely dry. As you can see, the paint is blending in very nicely. It's a perfect way to, uh, to create water effects. Do not worry, you don't have to make it perfect here, because there's going to be sealant on it and it's going to cover up a lot of the not so good blended areas it's going to uh, dilute it a little bit and what i like is with the brown province i like it to have an uh, yeah a caribbean vibe a caribbean look so i want to have it a very bright ocean the dark area i want to have it a murky murky feeling to it a murky look to it so we are going to use some dark browns and some greens actually and make sure that the edges of the board are going to be dark 
edges of the board dark and the closer you come to the provinces you make it a little bit lighter because that's where the shores are so some green in it don't be afraid to put some colors in it green and black dark green and the province of Jotunheim the blue province that one I want to have it very very dark deep blue because I think it fits better with uh, with the fjords so here you see we go to, uh, to Jotunheim and we're going with a very dark blue it's almost black black blue and again just wet blending let the paint not dry out if you want to use some different colors or you want to create some shade effects do it when the paint is wet and where provinces meet of course blend it a little bit like you can see with I'm calling it the Caribbean look with the with the dark icy look just uh, blended in uh, in each other and then some black for the really deeper parts of uh, of the ocean and there you can see of course yes do wait until the paint is completely dry and then we are just going to use sealant we're going to make a nice layer of, uh, of, of sealant transparent sealant and eventually we are going to uh, smooth it out with just a spoon you will see it in a minute just uh, put some rocks in it some scenery in it but uh, yeah just wait and see as you can also see the edge of the board is uh, is done the scoring tracker I don't have a video of that a friend of me had a had a plotter and he plotted out some numbers and I just bought a beautiful looking piece of wood and yeah it's uh, it, it was cut it out so I paste, uh, pasted it on it it was uh, self uh, sticking so pasted it on it sprayed it with white peeled it off yeah I have no idea how else you can make the scoring tracker but yeah sure you will find a way and then just continue uh, doing that with the sealant of course with the ocean and never forget after you have put it on the sealant take away the provinces do not let the sealant dry up with the provinces attached to it because then uh, yeah you're going to have an attached province then i have some uh, old plexiglass i broke it into pieces i think it looks good for uh, making some uh, some ice uh, in the water i think it's a cool effect Eventually I have put a blue shade, a blue wash on it to yeah, make it more looking icy. We are going to finish off Yggdrasil here. So finishing off Yggdrasil is just uh, regular flocking and flock depending on the provinces. So a little bit of, uh, as you can see here, a little bit of snow with the, with the Jotunheim province and all the other things you can see for yourself just use darker tones of flocking under the tree under the under Yggdrasil like this moss green it looks better it's in the shadows of the tree so stuff is more dark there after this uh, part we are going over to uh, beautiful overview of, uh, of the game because eventually I have uh, I didn't continue filming with little uh, details with little pieces because I have done them in a very long time span just thinking uh, walking around going over stuff looking for rocks here and there ordering some trees online and eventually I uh, finished it so uh, after this you will see the complete finish of the build and here it is so as you can see there is the ice in the water we have some trees and we have the 3d printed uh, names of every province 
and they turned out quite nicely. In the back there you see the roots of Yggdrasil. I loved it to play some roots there. And there is Yggdrasil. So we have some more green parts over the black area of the board. Some more trees and small bushes. Some more rocks in the water. And eventually it was nice for me to put some bigger rocks on the on the yellow province because they didn't have any trees. I wanted to be at that area. Um, more like a desert area and put it on some rocks to make it more 3D vibe like the rest of the provinces have all trees and nice looking scenery so I thought it was nice to have it also there and then the snow and the icicles of Jotunheim with some pine trees and snow so yeah guys, this is, uh, this is pretty much the end, eventually I build a big, a big box for it, so I can carry it around. You can do it or not, depending on uh, what you want to do with the game. And uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in a bit. Alright, so that's it. Blood Rage done. Um, I got a few questions uh, about how long, first of all, how long did it took me to build, uh, to build the board. I didn't actually keep track of the timing, but when I started the board until finish, it took me about two weeks and spending an average of three to four hours per day on, uh, on building it, most of the times in the evenings. And in the weekends you spend more time, of course. So uh, yeah, approximately within two weeks, it is achievable if you have all the stuff ready to go. Just uh, keep in mind that I did have to do all of, a lot, uh, all of the thinking while building it. So many times I found myself just doing nothing and just frustrating myself. Watching a lot of YouTube videos of Definitely of other uh, people that have much more experience in, uh, in how to build uh, 3D terrain pieces. Definitely uh, I recommend you to watch Luke's APS. I have uh, chosen uh, to, to build Yggdrasil on his advices. Uh, you can look it up for wire trees and he has a much better explanation than I did. And this guy is uh, in the line of business for a longer time. so. He knows how, uh, how to showcase it. So uh, yeah, I actually did enjoy it uh, to do uh, these videos uh, for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And um, yeah, we are building a new board. So uh, stay tuned for that. I believe we are going to finish it uh, the end of this year, maybe beginning next year. So uh, we will keep you up to date on that. And if anybody has some recommendations for uh, the board after this build, so just put it in the comments below, subscribe and let us know. Yes, see you later. Bye.